Yo, what's good guys? Today we finally discovered a way to do multi-input binds in CS2 again. As you can see here, I am using my Insta Strafe LJ bind and I am not losing any speed at all. I'm able to LJ to Firebox every single time. And for the first time, I think that this config is actually a great sign for CS2's movement overall. The way this config works is extremely rudimentary and it doesn't even use D subtick. However, it feels incredible to use. I think CS2 is going in the right direction with some of the most recent updates. That being said, they probably still do not want us using these multi-input binds, so I would definitely expect this config to get patched in the near future. But since in my opinion this config feels so amazing to use, I figured I would share it with you guys. However, there is one caveat with this config, and it's probably one of the biggest ones considering CS2's performance issues. You need to have above 360 FPS to be able to get this to work consistently. So for those of you who have managed to optimize your game to get 350 FPS consistently, please come along as I will show you how to install this movement config. But just give me one sec, because this video is sponsored by Farm Skins, one of the greatest case opening sites for CS2. Now, if you go onto the Farm Skins website, you will be greeted with a lot of cases. And personally, I would never roll out a Casey Neistat like this, but if it were a Fousey tube, you'd know where I'd be. Now, this moron just pulled gloves, and that's why he's gonna go over to the lock and load. Select how many bullets you wanna use and click open. Look at that, op lightning strike factory new. And this is where we're gonna get into the skin upgrade section of this site. We're gonna upgrade this op lightning strike Boom! Successful upgrade! Now, if you want to play on farm skins, you need to send them money, and they made absolutely sure that you could do that with their many deposit methods. Now, the most important thing about playing on farm skins is that you're using my code TRIP. Thanks, guys. Now, back to this incredible movement config. Now, this config works by using the default or the subtick inputs, which is something that previous movement configs in CS2 were unable to do, because subtick inputs were not consistent enough to be able to do movement. However, in this movement update, I've been able to do all of my favorite movement tricks using the default binds. Now, before I show you exactly how to install this, I do feel led to tell you guys that there is one D subtick method in CS2, and it involves binding your jump key to a key on your keyboard and then using a macro to activate that key with your scroll wheel. That's something that I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to do because you would have to set up some sort of macro, which is sort of out of my jurisdiction when it comes to config videos, if you understand. Now, I don't think that config is going to be getting you banned, but I don't want to cover something where you would have to download a macro on my channel. It's just not what I'm about, really. If we can get it done in the console, I'll show you guys how to do it. And that's what we did today. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is open Steam. You're going to open your library and right-click CS2. You're going to hover over Manage and then click Browse Local Files. Your File Explorer window is going to appear in front of you. Then you're going to locate the game folder and double-click it. Then you're going to find the CSGO folder, and then the CFG folder. Here is where you store all of your game configs. Now if you see autoexec.cfg, just go ahead and open it. However, there's a high chance that you do not see autoexec.cfg, so you're going to have to make it. Right click some blank space in this window, click new, and then click new text document. Highlight all, and then delete it. Type autoexec.cfg. If you do not see this window appear, you've done something wrong. This is what you need to do to fix it. You need to go here into the view tab up at the top, and then you need to click show file extensions. This way you will be able to change it so that it is a .config file instead of a .txt file. Once you have this file set up, you are going to be able to open it with notepad. Anything you put inside of this notepad will be ran in your console when you open the game. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that this text is in your autoexec. You don't need anything else, this is just custom to my autoexec, but you want this text that I have highlighted and I put in the description in your autoexec. Now the same way you made an autoexec config, you are going to want to make another config called nulls.cfg and then put all of this text in it. Now obviously this is going to make it so that your A and D keys are nulled, but this is the only way we have InstaStrafe, so it's GG. If you want to stay up to date on the newest movement config and know when movement updates come out that break the game entirely, join my Discord, discord.gg slash trip. All you have to do is click add server and then type trip, or you can click the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching.